But you know, I think that um, this rank, this 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 dilemma with the the rank, I think it happens with everybody that's ever lived. It doesn't even have to do with martial arts. It's like you see how school is about grades. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got an A, you got a C, haha. -ha. You know You're what I'm saying? You're a loser because yeah. you're not. Yeah. Or I got a degree, you don't, haha. -ha. You know, I got a oh, a nice really? job, high paying job, you don't, haha. -ha. Better car, better yeah. everything, yeah. It's like, like you gotta fix this conflict now in order to truly oh, evolve and you know to be a real martial artist, like for life. If you don't fix right. this now, then um. <laughs> It's better to for you to quit now than ten years from now. That's the way I see it. You know, like it's it's better to expose the problem now, and it, and basically resolve it. Like you either decide is this for you or not, and then and then <coughs> go from there. You know, but I think it's it's it's, it's to me it's a, it's a big part of the spiritual <laughs> development to be able to 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 liberate yourself from comparison and competition and. Just like find that inner inner peace to like just continue to, to, to just improve upon yourself and not focus so much on the people around you, but more focus from within. You know, and, and then think um you know, I think for for a fact, you know, I might have been training martial arts for a long time and I I might be pretty good at some of the physical stuff, but when it comes to running a business and, and, and building a school from the ground up that's all new to me. I mean, it's not all right. new, but it's a, it's a huge challenge. Cause I, I in college I, I did create a martial arts club and I got a lot of experience from that. But to be an entrepreneur and to do you know follow the law and all these little knit knacks and all that stuff, this stuff is some serious business that could get you in big trouble. You know, so it's like learning as a teacher. You know, and I'm a young I'm a pretty young teacher. And people that that in the school they have to realize that this is not like a a company that's been around for like three hundred years. I mean, they're they're taking part in helping this business grow or the school grow, you know. And and then we just go forward from there, you know. So. But you know, Sifa, I I think that even if the business, even if the school was ten years or twenty years old, things change, circumstances change, and that's 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 my definition of the. Um, of the martial artist, you are not born martial artist. You're not gonna die martial artist. That's a that's a well, it's it's a lifetime journey, and you're gonna have to adapt. You have to learn. You have to um, bring your chair. Yeah, bring the chair. Um, you, chair it's it's a progress, and you will yeah. fail. You will make mistakes. You will make a fool of yourself. You will pay your um. You pay your dues, and you pay penalties. It's just part of growth. It's mm -hmm. just part of development. And it's unrealistic to expect to create something that is going to be steady and ideal all the time. It's just yeah. like a relationship, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. The same with business. I'm a consultant. For me, um, what makes the good business a business, the, the, the business owner, the people that I admire, are not the people who create a business. Everybody can create a business. Yeah, yeah. Make it last. Make yeah, it last yeah. two years, five yeah. years, ten years. Yeah. Go through the all turmoil of um, economy changing, um, problems with employers, employees, problems with law, go through that. Overcome the difficulties and stay in business. That's what makes you a good business and yeah. that's what makes you a good martial artist. You get injured, happens. Did you stop working out? No, you kept on going, you, you kept on stretching, you did what you did under the circumstances. That's the, that's the true um, indication of growth and true indication of, um, of strength. Yeah, because I could have give up. Because, you know, hell yeah, because I, I'm injured, I'm not doing this anymore. Bye. Because right. yeah. guess what? You didn't do it. That's, that's, what shows, that's what shows the character and that's what shows the commitment. And that's the, these are the qualities of grown up people. And that's why you staying in the business for two years is a huge accomplishment. You went through a lot, you learn a lot. And right. I guess what, in five years you're going to learn some more. Yeah. But just keep on doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. and going, moving forward and being uh, ready to, to face the challenges. Yeah. yeah. That's what constitutes a, a good um, business owner and, and a true martial artist. That you don't give up no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. If you do, that means that you, it's not that this path is not for you. Yeah. And, and it just means that you're not ready to take a serious commitment. And that's a serious commitment. I mean, marriage. I mean, um, being a business owner or being a business uh, or being a martial artist. It's the same type of a level of commitment. You have yeah. to 
half what you, you have to take half what it takes to keep on going. Yeah. And not being discouraged by little things yeah, that yeah. happen to us. Yeah. Because life is all about little things. Yeah. So and we keep it involving because you're not gonna stay the same. Stuff no, no, always no. gonna change. You're gonna, you're gonna, gonna yeah, you're gonna grow. Ryan, well, it's gone. It's gone. See if we still there. Yeah, I think um, Ryan, you there? Ryan. 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 That you can't hear us. Ryan. Is that neat? He likes to spell the